certainly. Um, the first book I tried to write was about pirates. I mean, just that is just the history of piracy is uh, fascinating. I didn't have any, any monsters in that, but that was certainly a very rich theme to, uh, to mine for fiction. Unfortunately, everybody else had already mined it, and there were lots of pirate books out at that time, so uh, I didn't get anywhere with it. But, uh, yeah, there are certainly periods of history that would be interesting to write about. So now you've got a, a manuscript that's uh, on a shelf someplace that as soon as pirate pirates begin trending again, <laughs> uh, blow the dust off that thing and get it ready. <laughs> Quite possible. Yeah, I've got a couple. I've got a couple. How do you, uh, and I'm, I'm asking everybody this because I'm still trying to figure it out myself, how do you make peace with those manuscripts um, that are for the shelf that, that aren't going to be widely consumed? I think the first one, the one I just mentioned, the pirate story, I think um, I, that was a test. That was me testing if I could write longer form fiction. And even though there's a lot of merit in it, I, I tend to mine it quietly in the background for, for later fiction and take the things that worked out and recycle them. I don't really think it'll ever see the light of day. But I have subs subsequently written a novel that, um, uh, which I think has got some merit, but which I couldn't find a publisher for. So um, I, um, one day I, I might try and self-publish that, just for the experience of seeing how that works. Um, uh, so that one's very much a kind of back burner. We'll see, we'll see, but I haven't given up on it yet. Whereas the other one is one I, I have no aspirations for, really. But uh, um, it was a good place to, to practice starting to learn to write. Yeah, I've heard that other authors have that problem. Everything I've ever written has been perfect. So it, it, it's not been a concern. <laughs> but <if> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, you, uh, <laughs> you mentioned self-publishing. Do you, do you have aspirations to eventually self-publish? And what would that allow you to do that traditional publishing wouldn't? Um, to be honest, not really. It's just that when I, I um, think about that particular text, I, I just think um, – that might be the route for it. And I'm just curious about self-publishing, really. I'd like to try to try it just to see see how it is, really, to see how um, – I mean, I would still need to bring in an editor, I think. You can't really do the whole thing completely on your own. I don't think you need that that that, that critique group. You need those other voices and, and, and uh, opinions. But in terms of actually putting it out there, I'm just curious about the whole process, really, and see how, how it might work. So it's, it's a, I'm not planning to do it soon. It's just an idea that I can't quite, can't quite get rid of. So uh, at some point, I think I'll do it. It's kind of a fun thing that I find that uh, when I talk to traditionally published authors, sometimes they have indie author envy. Uh, and then I'll talk to indie uh, authors and they have <laughs> traditionally published author envy. Uh, and then even if you talk to two traditionally published authors, somebody's usually envious of somebody else. For some yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, oh, what did I want to? Oh, I, I know, and you're right. Uh, self publishing is a term that I'm trying to move away from because it, when it's done right, uh, it's not it's not self publishing. It's it's an indie project. You're essentially building your own little publishing house because you're going to bring in an editor. You may bring in a book designer. You may want to bring in a publicist. All sorts of people to to do things that you yourself may or may not be as effective at. Although. Um, since we've established that you're whatever the word is for ambidext ambidextrous around <laughs> art and, and fiction, you may uh, you may in fact be good at all those things. I don't. Can you sing as well? <laughs> uh, I, can't, I certainly can't sing. I certainly wouldn't be good at all those things. And I think you're right. Yes, I mean the term self-publishing maybe is a bit dated now. Um, um, yeah, but I do admire. I mean, there are people I know people who who who, who do quite well at it and. Um, I think they uh, they enjoy the freedom it brings. So, um, um, well, I'll watch this space, but perhaps I'll never do it. 